Yo, what's up YouTube? It's a Jet. I'm here to provide you with a ranking video about defensive badges. I'm gonna go with the guards badges first and then I'll go with the bigs. We got S tier, we got A tier, we got B tier, and we got C tier. And the first badge that I'm gonna go with is pick dodger. A lot of people don't really use picks. Teams don't really utilize pick. In my opinion, it's useful, but I wouldn't put so many points on it. Maybe if you want to put it on like bronze or if you want to put it like on silver, that's that's fine. But anything over silver, I think you're wasting so many points. And I'm going to put it on B tier as a guard. You could rank it higher A tier, but I'm going to leave it at B tier. Now, the next badge that we have is challenger. I'm going to put it at B tier because I think with your perimeter defense, it should be enough for you to stop them. If you're not, you can go ahead and put it up higher but uh yeah i'm gonna put it right here a tier b tier it's up to you but it's definitely a good badge now the next badge is clamps clamps is a must for guards because you're playing the perimeter and you want to make sure that you get that bump you want to make sure that you stop that guard from dribbling the ball for him to pick it up and you attempt to either steal it or you just make them pass up the ball and then your teammate might be able to get a steal or whatnot. It's just a really good badge to have a guard and I really think it's somewhere in S tier or A tier. Now, Interceptor is a good badge, but you shouldn't put it that high because this year, defense is really good. This year, I think defense is a little bit too good, but I think you go without using Interceptor on a high level so I would put it on like maybe on bronze, silver, if you have a high steel. Um, anyways, if you do not have a high steel, you can't get it high at a high level anyways. I'm leaving it at B tier. I still intercept the basketball without this badge. I mean, I don't even have it, but uh, yeah, I'm putting it on B tier. Now, brick wall. I mean, as a guard, you're not really setting screens. So I'm just gonna put brick wall on C tier. The next badge for guard is puggle stick. As a guard, you're not really taking that many blocks. You're not really getting that many rebounds. So I, I would leave puggle stick on C tier because it's not really necessary as a guard. I'll put rebound chaser down here too on C tier. You're not really rebounding. The bigs are rebounding for you. You're just running all the way to the rim and you don't really need rebound chaser. But box out on some cases, if you need to help out your team rebound, I definitely do think that you need box out as a guard. If you could get box out at any level, it could be bronze, silver, go right ahead. So I'm putting box out on B tier. Now the next badge is Menace. And I think Menace is a good badge, but you don't need to go all crazy and you don't need to get it like on Hall of Fame. I think silver and bronze does justice, but I'm just gonna leave it on B tier. Now the next badge I'm gonna go with is Glove. I'm gonna put it on A tier because Glove is a really good badge. It helps you get steals so i'm gonna put glove on a tier it definitely helps you a little bit more instead of you getting the foul but it counters with unpluckable so depending on the level you go with depending on the level they have on unpluckable that's the success rate you might get over them but uh like i said depends on your level i think gold is fine if you want to push it to hall of fame then go right ahead but I'm leaving Glove either from A tier to S tier. Now the next badge that I want to go with for guards is Anchor. And Anchor is not useless for a guard, but it's not ideal. Like I said, there's already bigs playing down below. That's the big man's job. As a guard, you should be running to the rim in order to get a basket. But yeah, I mean, it, it can be useful for you, but I'm going to leave it on C tier. Yeah, as a guard, you shouldn't really be running with this badge. But like I said, it, it can be useful though. So don't get me wrong. All these badges down here on C tier are still useful, but it's not ideal. That's why I'm just giving them these type of rankings. So you can use them, but these are the ones on the top that you should be worried about as a guard. Now, Workhorse is a really important badge this year, so I'm going to put Workhorse on A tier because there's more loose balls than ever in any 2K. I don't know why. There's like turnovers here and there and clumsy plays. Like, I mean, that's 
that's uh, besides the point. You want to make sure that you beat your opponent to the ball. So I think Workhorse is A tier and um, definitely worth pushing as far as you want. I think at a gold level, um, silver level, you should be fine. Definitely if you want to push it to Hall of Fame, go right ahead. Now the next badge that I'm going to go with is post lockdown. Obviously, like I said, you know, that's the big man's job. All these stuff right here down here, that's the big man's job. So these badges are not ideal for you. They're not ideal for you guys to run with. So I'm going to put a post lockdown on C tier. And the next badge is angle braces. And angle braces, I don't think angle braces is that useful because this year a lot of people are not really breaking any ankles. You really have to lose a lot of stamina to break some of those ankles. So yeah, I, I wouldn't really emphasize a lot on this badge. Yeah, I really wouldn't put that many badge points on this badge as a guard ankle braces because if you already have perimeter defense, you should be fine. Just stay in front of them and you won't get your ankles broken. The next badge is off ball pass. And off ball pass is a good badge because it lets you stay in front of your opponent and you become really pesky. It's not easy for them to just go around you just like that. So I don't put off ball pass on A tier. It's definitely a good badge. You can push it as far as you want. Now, chase down is a really good badge for a guard because if the guard or anybody who decides to shoot a jump shot around the perimeter, chase down artists will help you get that chase down block. If a guard, if anybody decides to slash, chase down artists will help you get a block. So you can push this badge as high as you want. At any level, it works good. This badge is definitely A tier, S tier, but I'm put it on an A tier. Now I'm about to rank the badges for the big. And the first badge I'm going to start with is glove. And I'm gonna put glove on C tier. As a big, you're not really supposed to be picking that many pockets because you might not get the steal. I mean, if you're a 6'9 build, if you're a 6'10 build, then go right ahead. But if you're a real, real big, glove is not glove is not really gonna help you. Uh, you should be conserving your energy in case um, you have to play defense down in the paint. So yeah, you shouldn't really be picking people's pockets. I'm gonna put glove on C tier. If you wanna put it on B tier, go right ahead because I'm, I'm not saying it's useless because it can be useful yeah he, as a big your job is to do other things so i'm gonna put on c tier the next badge that i'm gonna go with is menace and i'm gonna put menace in c tier b tier because menace can definitely be very useful but it's not really needed you should already be playing good defense um there's other badges that are gonna help you play good defense as a big but i'm gonna put menace on b tier c tier because it definitely will help you out if you have it on bronze or silver, you don't need to push it that high of a level, but I mean, that is up to you. The next badge that I'm gonna go with is Interceptor. And as a big, Interceptor is not really useful. I'm gonna put Interceptor on C tier because you're playing down below. You're actually not playing those lanes that much. And like I said before, defense this year is really good. So you don't really need many of these defensive badges. You can kind of just spread them around. Uh, I'm putting Interceptor on C tier. If you can get on bronze, then that's cool. If you can get on silver, then go right ahead. But I don't think you need it as a big. The next badge is Pick Dodger. As a big, they're not setting screens on you. So you're not really trying to avoid that many screens. So I'm going to put Pick Dodge on C tier because it's not really that useful as a big. If you want to equip it, then go right ahead. But I'm putting it on C tier next badge for a big is off ball pass and off ball pass is a good badge for a big so i am put it on b tier definitely lets you stay in front of your defender a little bit more often than not you can have it on bronze silver uh you have it on hall of fame i mean I think that's a little bit too much because I'm putting it on B tier. There's other badges that you can have your points on. So that's why I'm just gonna put it on B tier because it's good enough on a low level. You don't need it on a high level. The next badge is Chase Down Artist. And Chase Down Artist is a really good badge for a big. So I'm gonna put Chase Down Artist on A tier, S tier. At any level, Chase Down Artist is good. But I think it works at silver. Bronze, it still works too. Like I said, 
as you increase your level of chase down um it just gets better so i'm just gonna put on at the next badge that i want to go with is workhorse workhorse like i said it's a good badge even for guards and bigs so it doesn't matter what you are um i'm put on a tier because um it works at any level if you could just put any point on this badge then go right ahead but like i said the higher the better the next badge is challenger the challenger for a big is not ideal so i'm gonna put it on c tier because you're not really challenging that many shots on the perimeter but if you want to put it on and if you can put it on then go right ahead just don't push it that far because your job is in the paint that's your job to guard down below and it's not your job to guard the perimeter i'm leaving it at c tier the next badge is clamps i'm gonna put clamps on b tier if you get equipped clamps then go right ahead but i don't think clamps is needed but it can definitely be useful so I'm gonna put it on B tier. And you can get it as high as you want, but I think if you put it on bronze or silver, that'll be fine. The next badge that I wanna go with is Box Out. And Box Out is a really good badge for a big. You can push it as high as you want. I think the sweet spot for Box Out is gold. Silver does the job. Bronze here and there, you'll see people swinging around you. Hall of Fame, it's really difficult for players to go around you. So I'm gonna put Box Out on S tier. Now the next badge is Rebound Chaser. No doubt Rebound Chaser is S tier for a big because your job is, like I said, to be down below and get rebounds. You can push this badge as far as you want. The next badge is Pogo Stick is a very good badge for bigs. Going up for blocks, you're going up for rebounds. Whatever it is, you take a jump shot. You wanna make sure that you recover from that jump. So you can push this badge as far as you want, but I'm gonna put Pogo Stick on A tier. It works fine on bronze. The next badge for a big is Anchor. And Anchor, I'm gonna put on S tier. The job of the big is to guard the paint and anchor that's that's just what anchor is all about anchor helps you guard the paint like crazy i can tell you that and it's up to you how far you want to push anchor but it's definitely a must for me to have anchor equipped as a big so i'm gonna put it on s tier the next badge i want to talk about is post lockdown and post lockdown is a good badge but bigs don't really post up that much players run in teams so it's not ideal that a squad wants to see a player post up yeah i wouldn't put post lockdown that high if your team is letting you post up then go right ahead i would put it on a tier b tier but uh post lockdown you don't need it that much on a high level next badge is brick wall and brick wall as a big is definitely useful but as a big, you're already getting good screens. So I'm put brick wall on B tier. On any low level, you should be able to get a good screen and the player will get stuck. Now, depending how long you want them to get stuck or if you want them to fall, now you can put it on a higher level. But if you're a big, I mean, it's already kind of hard for them to get around you. So I think bronze server is good for brick wall. The next badge is angle braces. As a big, you're not really guarding that many guards unless it's off a switch, but uh, just pray for a miracle. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put it on C tier because uh, if he's gonna cook you, he's gonna cook you. And yeah, there's not a lot of ankles being broken. I haven't really got my ankles broken. I don't even use that badge. I'm a big, so yeah, I'm putting it on C tier. Yeah, uh, if you wanna put it, <laughs> If you feel like you're getting a lot of switches as a big and you want to use ankle braces and you can get it, then go for it. Yeah, I'm not getting my ankles broken. I don't know if a lot of you guys are, but I'm putting on Z tier as a big because you're really down in the post. And your post lockdown is more useful than ankle braces. Uh, brick wall is just all these badges up here are way more useful than ankle braces. Uh, all these badges down below are more for guards. And that's the end of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.